Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how you can make some knives for your kitchen utensils and stuff like that. First thing you need to do is get some aluminum. You can get the disposable kind of tin um, as well. But this they sell at Home Depot. Um, I want to say it was like just a couple bucks for this. And then after that you want to go ahead and cut a piece off. Now be careful because this is sharp and I would not recommend that you make this for children as you know they could get hurt so um, we don't want that to happen after that then what you want to do is you want to go ahead and decide which way you want your knife to be so if you're gonna have a knife that's gonna go like that then you would cut it that way and then cut it up this way now again be very careful because this is going to be sharp stuff you're messing with Okay, so you should end up with something like this for that style. Okay, so once you have it, then you want to go ahead and roll it out. And you can reshape it if you want. If you're not really happy with the way that it turned out, you can recut it. Then you want to take some Sculpey. After you've softened it, you want to go ahead and roll it into like a little log. Then you want to take that same thing, Sculpey, and you're going to squish it around the knife just like this now if you want to see the edge where it looks beveled then you just want to take some sandpaper right along that edge but it's not necessary because it's so small you really don't need to do that I mean I did do it to a few and I'll post the pictures behind at the end of the video Now you can keep your knife end straight like that or you can kind of have it have like that curve to it or indent, whichever you like. Then you want to take a skewer or a toothpick and you want to take and poke a hole there and a hole there. Then you want to bake it. Once you've baked it, then you want to get yourself some metallic paint. And you want to dip your toothpick or your skewer right in there. And you want to go right in those holes. Now mine's not baked yet, but I'm just showing you for the tutorial purposes. And then after it's completely done, then you can apply a glaze to it. You can use either polyacrylic or you can use a glid and clear gloss. But that's what it would look like. And you can make multiple knives that way. And you can do different styles. You can make some little um, meat cleavers. If you want to do a meat cleaver, then you could do that. Just kind of cut it the way you would want your meat cleaver to be. And again, these are very sharp, so don't let um, children do this. If you want to make some knives for some kids, I would recommend that you um, didn't use bakeable clay, but maybe air drying clay and 
use some card stock that's metallic from maybe the scrapbook in section. These are very, very sharp, and, you know, we don't want the kids to get hurt by that. So definitely don't do this for your child. And for the meat cleaver, you can poke a hole or drill a hole either way up inside of there as well. Now I'm just taking this and flatten it down right there to give it a neater look. And then I'm squishing my clay to make it narrower so it's not such a puffy little end. And then again, we would just poke a hole in it there and there and these are the rivets and then we would just put some paint in it And that's all you need to do. I'll post the pictures of them at the end of the video. And um, you can see all the different styles that I made. And basically, I'm just cutting it. But um, if you don't have the option or the clay that's bakeable at your house or at a store near you, um, you can always use air dry clay as well. And if you are worried about messing with the metal and, you know, worrying about it getting the word will cut you or whatever, you can always just use that metallic paper. And it'll just look as real as it does there. All right. Or you can use regular paper and paint it metallic. And I've tried several different metallic paints. This is the one that covers the best. So, um, or that I've tried that covers the best. So if you want metallic and it's not a Sharpie metallic, paint pen then um this one's pretty good all right thanks for watching don't forget to follow dollhouse miniature madness and tutorials for more diy and like and subscribe click the bell if you want to be notified of the upcoming videos and um we'll see you next time thanks a lot